Hello, Captains. It's me, Tonic TZW. We're here in the Tier 3 Premium German Destroyer, the G101. This one's called Farragut Double Tap because there is a lesson to be learned in here. It's not a lesson to be learned by me. Well, potentially, because um, I let myself down a little bit. But there on the red team are two players in Farragut's, and it's KCMC and Mr. Crayon. And I think KCMC was teaching um, Mr. Crayon to play Destroyers, because after the match I went to GG them, because they did play a very good game, and I noticed that one of them was streaming on Twitch, so I decided to stop playing my game and sit and watch their Twitch stream for a little while, and we had a little bit of chat backwards and forwards. Um, I'm in this game with um, Chops, and he's in the South Carolina and between us we're going to see what we can do to bring home a win for blue team which isn't going to be easy now I do have a cup of tea in my hand so I am going to drink that while I uh, go through and do the audio but we decide that we are going to push straight down through the middle of the map and see what we can do about things now I'm running um, full concealment on this G101 and you'll see that it's down to 4.5 kilometers this is the only ship I think a tier 3 and tier 4 that you can drop below um, a maxed out kamikaze build and given that this is very much a gun board, um, you're not guaranteed to get a tier 3 tier 4 game um, most of the time this is going to get put in a 2-3 game I've found but we're going to start with that Allegheny we're going to drop a load of tops on him and pick up a first blood and a dev strike with uh, just over 28,000 damage. Now this Nassau is a nasty piece of kit. I don't want to be too close to him and uh, tell the chops that really he needs to go because his secondaries are nasty. And then we get bumped by the class horn and unfortunately my gun, sh my gun aiming and his twisting and turning is going to let him get away and I'm going to have to trade far too many hit points here but as you can see that Nassau secondaries are taking chunks off me there's not a lot I can do about this but uh, our Texas for whatever reason ran straight into the Nassau and to be frank a tier 4 versus a tier 3 it's actually going to end one way now I miss a shot on the Nassau there to finish him that's going to cost me later I decide that I'm not going to chase down that class horn um, he knows he's been bumped I imagine he thinks he's being pursued and so I'm going to continue pushing through the map for red team's home cap all the while pinging the map and uh, letting this carrier know where the destroyer is because this carrier actually played attention he played attention he paid attention and he actually played a very good game of it so there's the class horn again and we're going to put some more shots his way we're going to get shot at as well and we're going to just have to let that fire burn for a second and the shells on this ship are very, very floaty, but we are going to have to damage control that. We can't keep giving away hit points, and we are going to do our own twist and turn it and just have to go two turrets on. And uh, sadly, we lost chops because there's two battleships, a cruiser, and two destroyers um, across there on A cap. Um, red team have pushed hard on there. We have got a battleship somewhere in this game that is just going to spend the entirety of the game sailing around and I just can't seem to land shells on that guy but we're trying to steer out of the way as much incoming fire as we can we lose our Tiger to torpedoes to the Farragut and our other DD is here as well it's um, a Jaguar I think and he's going guns we lose the T-22 so we are one destroyer down um, but we do control two caps still around 75 points down against this team but having two caps should pull it back now I don't want to tangle with two Farragut's in division because I don't have the hit points or the reload to be able to take those on together but that is going to play into our hands very very nicely the Jaguar there gets his torpedoes on he's going guns I'm going to fire my torpedoes as well and I'm having a look at where those battleships are because I don't want to take a clattering off them now I slow down pop my smoke thinking that the uh, Jaguar can keep this carrier spotted some HE Citadels on this guy but no sooner 
do um, I get to the point where we're about to kill him and he disappears because the Jaguar disappears here comes this um, battleship sailing around behind us um, must be new to the game bit of a saga cruise because he seems to just want to avoid um, getting into any kind of fight um, but there we go we get rid of the carrier we've closed the points difference down but their farragates have flipped the cap so i'm going to have to do that painful thing of sitting here for an entire minute now i know where one destroyer is i'm worried about the second but our carrier is going to get him spotted as well or he is going to give his position away there he is 9.4 kilometers away i know that i am safe from those two destroyers there are two battleships running back there as well um we're on two kills you know we haven't really done a lot but we've got air cap assist there we're going to slow down take this cap we're still down on points we're 100 points down but look at this guy it looks like he sailed into the island and so we're going to put some torpedoes across there Mr. Crayon is chasing down the carrier and uh, Mr. Crayon it was good to have a chat with you guys on your Twitch stream after but I'm going to teach you a little bit of a lesson in a moment um, something to live and learn from now I know that um, my closest target isn't Mr. Crayon there's the other car uh, the other Farragut and we go guns on him as soon as we're able to we put some torpedoes out there to distract him but the guns are working wonders and that is one down and we straight away switch our attention to Mr. Crayon single torp out there we're going to blind fire before he comes around the corner only land one shell now this is what you should have done in this situation you should have gone guns you should have taken care of me and then you would have been able to take care of that carrier in a much more leisurely manner so target prioritization understand where your risks are take care of your risks then take care of business now the clock is ticking down but with those two kills we've managed to pull it back to a 125 point advantage there is the new york there is only a minute left on the clock there isn't enough time to flip this cap there isn't enough time to get in range for torpedoes on that guy we're on four kills so we are going to go guns can we get the fire and tick this guy down for a kraken but it doesn't seem that i can do anything to get air fire on this guy but the carrier swoops in take the kills that confirms the points lead for us with 10 seconds left to go on the clock we've pulled a 300 point lead from a 100 point deficit that is a huge flip and a great win for blue team so again i'll say ggs to those two guys uh, for playing that game and they were on stream on twitch can't remember the name of the twitch channel um, but they finished one and two for their team um, i finished top for hours with a high caliber confederate dev strike and first blood chops didn't fare as well but he was absolutely shattered after a night at work and ready for bed so if you enjoyed that one um, please do stick around click one of these links don't forget smash the like button leave me a comment let me know what your favorite premium destroyer is to play and if you haven't done so please do subscribe to the channel and don't forget you can always make a donation through the link on the bottom until next time take care goodbye